Good morning, Modern Steaders. It's a nice, sunny morning right now. It's 46 degrees outside. Man, that is awesome. Pluto, you wanna go out? We gotta wait first. Hey, how'd that feel? She just bonked her head on the island. I ordered a few things from Coops and more, and they came in. I'm gonna hook up one of them this morning. Boom. I got some more horizontal poultry watering nipples to put in the five to make the five gallon bucket waters. Need to make a few more of those. Mr. Figaro will like this box. He's got a box collection. You ready to go out, Pluto? Come on. Check on the chicks in a minute. If you're new to the channel, last year I built New York City. I'll put a playlist right here for the build. But I put rain gutters on it, and the other day I hooked up our 55 gallon drum. I ordered the new waterer from Coops and More. It's got an automatic float in it. This way the chickens always have fresh water. Last year I just had a hose and I'd fill up their water dish every couple of times throughout the day. Well this new water should make it so we don't have to worry about them running out. Plow down, stay over here. Good morning. You guys are gonna be ready to go out in the chicken tractor this week. Well, the water have filled up nicely. I bet the chickens and the ducks are gonna love having that. We'll see how it works when we get back this afternoon. Oh man, those tomato plants look beautiful. In a few minutes, we need to run to the feed store, get some grain, and get a few more bags of compost so we can make some more large soil blocks. We can plant up some more tomatoes. No, we don't need all those tomatoes, but they're looking so beautiful. We need to plant them up in the larger soil blocks, and then we'll give them away to friends and family. So that's always exciting too. If we can help pass the bug along of gardening and great food, that just puts a smile on my face. I love being able to do that. What a crazy dog. I wish I had that kind of energy, man. I really am enjoying this new style chicken tractor. It's so much lighter and easier to move. Oh, it makes it a lot more enjoyable.
Yeah, plenty of water. Yesterday, when we didn't make a video, I was able to rake out and finish off all the wood chips. You can tell the chickens have been over here. We got this all cleaned up. I need to come in with the weed whacker and just get that little brush out of here. I'm hoping that by putting a bunch of wood chips around this apple tree, we don't have to mow or weed whack under it. That's always a pain in the butt. One of the things I need to do on my way into work this morning, believe it or not, my 70D camera has got to go back to Canon for the fourth time. Hopefully this time they're going to replace the camera. Yeah, it's been ugh, frustrating to say the least, but we're sending it back today and hopefully at the end of the week we'll have an answer of what they're going to do about the camera. Before we go to work, let's get a chicken in the crock pot. That way when we come home, we know we get some good food cooking. Have a good day. Staples is a local UPS drop-off for us. I hope they're open. Well, that worked out. They were open. Star didn't have any grain, but I was able to get our seed starter mix. I'm always being asked, what do you do for a day job? So today I thought I'd show you the project we've been working on. Yep, that was fun. 16 foot high up ceilings and walls. That was a fun day hanging sheetrock. Ceiling.
that's the day job, and now we're home. Now you know what I've been up to during the day. Let's check and see how the water's been doing since we've been at work. Now it looks nice. I like the cage, how they can't get in there, especially the ducks. Keeps the water nice and clean. Hey, we're making a video. Jesus, I like it. Well, I think the video is probably getting pretty long. Gina and Olivia are gonna be home later tonight because Olivia has swim lessons after Gina gets out of work. And I'm gonna go inside and start editing this video. So it'll be up on Tuesday. We'll see you guys right back here at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.